For this season of What's Up YMAT, we have been featuring sports that take place in the spring. We started off with baseball, softball, and now we're ending with track. What's up, YMAT? I'm Miss Infield and I teach at the Canyon Day Junior High School. And I'm Miss Johanna Tupas from Mount State High School. We are here to deliver some positivity around the community. Now that things are starting to open back up and we've been cooped in the horse for quite a while, it's time that we get back outdoors. Definitely got to bust those doors open, Joanna, go out and enjoy some of the fresh air and this amazing, amazing weather that we're having. You know, the sun on our backs and the blue sky ahead. Guys, there's a lot of beautiful places here at the reservation. So it's time for you to get out there, select some places that you want to go to, go out and tour the whole reservation. Yeah, from fishing to camping to hiking to mountain climbing. The back, your backyard is amazing. Get out there and enjoy it. I'm a teacher who is a treasure hunter. So I look for things in all of my students. So here is our teacher treasure hunter pledge. As an adult and a treasure hunter, I am committed to search for all the talents, skills, and intelligence that exists in all children and youth. I believe all children are capable of success, no exceptions. Absolutely no exceptions. This means you. So my 10th grade students, we do class of 2023, we the quadruple P's, we're powerful, passionate, purposeful people. I, Ms. Salmon, out. So the four aces in my life are my mom, my dad, my two sisters, and the kids at Hope to me um, is, it's important because it reminds us that we're smart and that we're capable of doing things. And Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Um, and yeah. What's your four A's? My mom, my grandma, my pup, and my auntie. Okay, what about your kids? Your kids at Hope Pledge. Your kids at Hope Pledge. What about your kids at Hope Pledge? Grandma. My Pat. four aces. My four aces is Grandma. Well, um, my Mr. Mr. Patrick, Miss Chupas, and Sandra, and Miss Naomi. I pledge allegiance. I am a kid. I'm a kid. I hope. I'm a talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for the future, and I have hopes and dreams every day. I would like to give my ace of hearts to my parents because they always care for me, and you know, they're my parents. And my aces of clubs, I would give them to my best friends because well, they're caring and they always support my decisions. And I would give the ace of spades to my mom because she always holds me to high expectations. And I would give my ace of diamonds to my brother because whenever I accomplish something, he like reminds me of it. And the kids at Hope pledge just reminds me that you can do anything you can set your mind to. And I am a kid at Hope. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for my future, and I would climb to reach those goals and dreams every day. I am a kid at Hope. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for the future, and I will climb to reach those goals and dreams every day. No exceptions. <laughs> I'm a kid at hope. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for the future. I am trying to reach those goals and dreams every day. All success, no exceptions. I'm a kid at hope. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. 
I have dreams for the future, and I will try to reach those goals and dreams every day. No exceptions. The four aces I have is um my little siblings, my older brother, and my mom, my, my dad, and uh. Who are your four aces in your life? Daddy. This book. My aces are my dad, my mom, and my brother, and my grandma and grandpa. Hello. I'm okay. Uh, no, I guess my dad is part of that, I guess, because um, he's been staying with me a lot, and I'm just him right now, and my mom's up here, so, yeah. give my ace of hearts to my mom because she is the caring adult that looks after me 24 7. i would like to give my ace of clubs to my older cousin makanawani and she is also a positive person i look up to i would like to give my ace of spades to my grandpa my auntie eileen and my mom because they, i believe they all hold high expectations for me i would give my ace of diamonds to john and camelia day because they have helped me with many things inside of school and outside of school and getting ready for college and many other things so the kids are hoping to me that no matter where you started for every kid there is a great amount of hope you can be very successful you are able to succeed if you continue or start to push yourself and set goals you can achieve many things and hard work will pay off um so i'll say the kids are hope but now i am a kid at hope i am talented smart and capable of success I have dreams for my future and I have plans to reach those goals and dreams every day. All children are capable of success, no exception. Thank you. For my ace thingy, I would give my mom and I give it to my mom, my dad, my auntie, and um, probably my sisters and my brother. Only because they always been there and they always help me through tough times, especially my mom and my dad and my sisters. And then yeah. And for the kids at hope thing, um, like how I look at it, it's like it's just like a reminder that you can do it and that you can you can do anything if you like try. And yeah. Um, for the ace thingy, I would like to give it to my my mom, my dad, my sister, my my auntie, and one of my uncles because they always encourage me to do things and they always help me throughout life and that's like why I chose them. And for the kids at home, what I think about is like is like you reaching your goals like trying to reach your goal each and every day and trying to improve on yourself and it's just a reminder for you to try and keep going okay for the ace of hearts it has to be my parents because they take care of me and provide for me ace of clubs it has to be my best friend's mom because she just helps me. I don't know, she just gives me advice and all that whenever I go over to their house. Someone who holds me to high expectations would have to be my mom and dad, especially my dad with school and all that. Um, someone who makes me feel six, six, blah, successful and who has a positive influence on me is obviously my best friend Dana. I don't know, she helps me a lot <laughs> with stuff and I don't know, I just feel good around her. What does Kids at Hope mean to you? Well, to me it's kind of like a reminder that I could do anything if I put my mind to it. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying at this point. I'm just going off with whatever is going on in my head. 
Recite the kids at Hope Pledge. Oh, geez, it's, I haven't said this in forever. I am a kid at Hope. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for my future, and I will climb to reach those goals and dreams every day. My four aces in life are my mom, my grandparents, my aunt, and my teachers. And then Kids at Hope means to me is a reminder that I, that I can be successful in life. And then the Kids at Hope pledges, I am a kid at hope. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for my future, and I will climb to reach those goals and dreams every day. Hello, my name is Michaela. And my ace of heart goes to my mom because she's the person that cares for me 24 7 and makes sure that everything in my household is successful. My ace of club goes to my professor at MPC. His name is Richard Harris. He's always there for me and he makes sure that I turn in my work and he pushes me and I look up to him because the things he does in his life, that's something I want to accomplish someday. My ace of spades it goes to my grandma, my mom, and my dad. They're always there to push me to make sure that I know right from wrong and they make sure that everything in my life is good and I'm on the right path to succeed. My ace of diamonds goes to my godparents because they're always there helping me through whatever I need help with. They're always there for me and they help me with or without school, they're always there for me. And a kid at hope to me means every child is afforded to believe, guidance, and encouragement that creates a sense of hope and optimistic, supported by a course of action needed to experience success in life and have opportunities to major something and have the family, education, and career. And a kid at hope pledge. I am a kid at hope. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for the future and I will kind of reach those goals and dreams every day. Thank you. My four aces is my mom, my sister, my grandma, and my dad. Okay, Mia, what's your four A's? Hmm? Say mama. Daddy. Sister. Sister. A teacher. Hey, over here, teacher. Hmm? teacher yeah and what about your kids at home pledge who's a kid at home see yeah. me Anna. yeah good All right. there let's go first because he's ready my favorite ace is my mom my dad my brother my sister Okay, at anchor is um, both of my parents, um, caring adults. Uh, I have an aunt. Um, call, we call her Auntie Vaughn. Uh, she's my ace clubs. It's really, really caring person. Um, ace of Spades is uh, an advisor of mine. Her name was um, Juanita. She just expected more of me than I did of myself. Um, Ace of Diamonds is, uh, um, I don't know, I feel like I'm provided a lot of opportunities to succeed, but if I were to give it to a person, uh, I wouldn't know who to give it to. Um, a lot of people. Okay, um, Kids I Hope means to me, uh, being, uh, successful for the future. No, it doesn't. <laughs> to me, it means, um, just to be hopeful. We live in a community that uh, doesn't have too much hope. Uh, it's a different side of it. Uh, I'm a kid, I hope. I'm talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for my future. I will climb to reach those goals and dreams every day. Thanks. My four aces is my dad, my mom, my grandma, my grandpa. Um, four aces in my life, I think, would be my mom, my brother, and my sister, and the youth from my church, yeah, and I think the kids at home pledge, I think that it means to me that we are all smart, and that we can do anything together, and yeah, and that just believe in yourself, it's like a motivation. 
Uh, I would like to give my mom the ace of hearts because she's just always supported me in, in all my actions that I do. Then the ace of clubs I would like to give to my grandma Genevieve because she's just she just supports me and tells me to do something with my life that where I can make where I can be someone. Then I would like to give my ace of clubs to my uncle Wayne because he's just he's just supportive with me, even though even though I might do dumb stuff at times, but he just supports me through everything. He's he's more like of a second dad to me, so I'd like to thank him for that. Then. My ace of diamonds, I would like to make. I would like to give to my brother Spike, cause he's just. Whenever I'm around him, I feel like that I'm someone. That I have. That I have something in my life that makes me feel worth having. So I would like to give him that. Then what kids I hope means to me is that. That we have a chance, to do something with our lives that most people don't that rarely get that rarely have that chance so I would that's what kids of hope means to me so I'm gonna recite the kids of hope now I am a kid of hope I am talented smart and capable of success I have dreams for my future and I will climb to reach those goals and dreams every day all kids are capable of success no exceptions thank you no matter how old you get it's always pays to have an ace up your sleeve so my ace of hearts is my mom Ace of Clubs, that's easy. All my fellow co-workers and teachers and my friends. And my Ace of Spades is the big man upstairs, so that's why I always keep looking up. And lastly, my Ace of Diamonds are my siblings. They always keep me motivated. They're always there to pick me up. Like to give a shout out to the Altizay Falcon track team and coach Mr. Pineda. Run fast, run hard. So remember, no worries. Keep looking up. You got this, and we got you. This is Miss Tupas and Miss Enfield wishing you an amazing rest of your week. See you again at What's Up Why Not next week.